What's up guys and welcome to the video. So special thanks to Hoshek Motor Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's located in Brno in Czech Republic. And also here is a AMG Performance Center. Keyless entry. And this car is finished in beautiful red and black interior. These are the, these are the comfort seats, but they have really nice bolsters. It's not like a comfort comfort seat, but this is AMG comfort seat, so really great. Illuminated door panels, really looks great. I'm going to hop inside because it's cold here. I'm going to start the car. beautiful AMG and the sound you can hear the sound in the cabin heated seats take a look in the interior of this car so as you can see this car has ambience lighting I set it to purple and this is steering wheel the AMG steering wheel this is also a heated steering wheel so if you press this you can turn off the heating and if you switch it like this you can turn on the heating so it's really nice and getting hot now Burmaster sound system and you can control the seats with these toggles with these switches and also memory seats so three person can uh, make a memory of their setting so if you if you drive with your wife girlfriend or a friend or whatever uh, mem family member or your friend then you can uh, set memory for steering and uh, for the seat so that's great mirrors are fully uh, adjustable electric so just press this and you can change it like this this would be probably for me you can also change this mirror So this is the new system from Mercedes-Benz. This is digital cockpit, dual screen setup. And this nice thick AMG steering wheel with AMG logo. So with this portion you control cruise control, Distronic, and also with these buttons you control this display. And with this area you control the command system. Pedal shifters have really nice and premium feeling. Everything you touch is just amazing. You have also the switch for the lights. Fog lights, parking lights. These are LED uh, day running lights, multi-beam lights, and you can leave it on auto as well. So door packets are quite large. You can also open the boot space from here, so this is very convenient. And if you close the door, it wants to give you the seat belt, so that's great. So also in this car is a panoramic roof, fully electric. Now it's ventilation, so it really looks great during the day, you have a lot of light here now in the interior i'm going to show you now this display and what you can do with it so with this touchpad if you press it then you can 
toggle the menu, I'm going to switch off the heated steering wheel because it's already hot. So let's take a look first. In the design, so you have sport, classic, progressive. So progressive is like this. Classic is this one. And sport is my favorite. This is also changing. So I really like how this car looks in the sport. So let's do this in sport. So from left, I'm doing it like this. There is a service. So zero messages. You would see their error message. Tires, you need to drive for this. Then you have assist plus. This is for reminding you where is the service. Coolant, you can see it also there. Engine oil level. So usually you would need to drive a little bit to see engine oil level. So then in assistance, you would see the car in front of you. If you would drive, you would see, and you switch this, this turning with these buttons. You have also attention assist. So the car will tell you when you drive too long and you need a break. MG performance, you can see boost, temperature of the engine. If it's cold, then it's in blue. Then you can see boost, settings of the engine, drivetrain and suspension. And you can change it with these toggles. For example, from comfort, you can put it in sport, sport plus. Also, you can change, you can change also the gearbox from manual to automatic and traction control you can turn it on or off so then you have a g-force if you are moving and driving and boost so you can see the boost of the turbo and kilowatts and newton meters how much you are using uh, right now then the trip this will tell you how much kilometers you drove Also consumption, range, eco display, so all these stats. So this car drove 152 kilometers and 16.3 liters per 100 kilometers is the average, but probably all of them were like a short drives. So that's why you can see also the speed is very low, the average speed. So if you move this left right, you can change this right instrument cluster. And this is just next level. With analog display, you can do this. Before I was a little bit spec skeptic when people say that there would be digital instrument cluster. But this graphic is like a, a incredible and you can customize everything. You can have a track pace there. So this really is a next level car, a next level digital cockpit. And I think everybody would like this. But of course it's personal preference. But yeah, you can customize everything and also the reflection here like between the border and screen is not that visible in person and also I can't see myself it's just because of the iPhone camera is so good in HDR uh, so yeah uh, let's continue you can have a navigation there radio media telephone head-up display so I can change the position of the display so this is pretty cool. 
then you can change the brightness so now it's more bright and less bright all right and also you can change the display content so you can have different things here so I think this looks amazing this is for track I think this is really cool so you can see the refs focus can I have it like this or lap times so you can have a lot of different settings for the head-up display next are the designs which I showed you before sport classic progressive so my favorite is sport so leave it like that so yeah this is basically it and with the command display uh, you can have various settings there and you can control it with this and also with this one so this is really uh, great so in the vehicle settings you can see all of these settings for example for the seats you can have a massage lumbar support side bolsters seat heating balance climate control you can set air refreshing air ionization of the air rear temperature and the graphics are just amazing then you have an energizing comfort so this is like combination of a lot of different things ambience lighting uh, ventilated seats heated seats a massage So really cool dynamic select you can uh, configure there individually everything in the car drivetrain you can put it in sport moderate dynamic transmission you can put in manual or drive suspension comfort and ESP on so this is like comfort sport plus mode then you can have engine data vehicle data dynamic data boost newton meters kilowatts so if I'm in sport plus this also looks different than in a comfort mode then you have track pace only use this on the racetrack this is warning and in the track pace you can use the track like for example spa franco champs and race there and see best lap time average speed total length of the circuit top speed so this is great you can also record a new track and also you can have a drag race you can have acceleration quarter mile you can see braking And history 
And then we have a telemetry. And another options. You can select head up display contact, acoustic feedback. You can set your driver profile. So this is amazing. Then assistance. You have all the assists, traffic sign assist, camera park assist. You can also remote this car and park this car from uh, the smartphone. You have an active brake assist, speed adjustment. So this car, as you can see, can reduce speed ahead of bends and other route features if you set route guidance. So it can drive automatically and set and uh, adjust speed. Tension assist, this is when you drive uh, too long. Lane changing assist active blind spot assist. So this is like an automatic uh, pilot. Then you can see consumption, light settings. Here is uh, ambient lighting. So you have a multicolor option or a single color. You have a 64 colors. So this is like a green now. I think the purple looks the best. During nights is a certainly most visible color. You have also combination of colors. Red moon is like a purple. And here is red, and red is also here, and feet have uh, blue ambient lighting, vents are also blue. You can also change light system, dipped beams, surround lighting, exterior light shadow, interior light shadow, and vehicle settings. in the system you can see all of these things so yeah guys that's it review of these displays and guys this is Napa leather two-tone interior a red and classic red uh, I mean classic red and black and these are the comfort seats and I really think they look uh, spectacular. Spectacular. So here is this storage space in the middle console. And also you have uh, here USB ports. So on the top you have a storage room for your sunglasses. SOS button and Mercedes me button, lights button, and this is for the sunroof. All right, so I will just set my seat as I would drive the car. So a little bit more, yeah, that's it. So guys, let's check the rear seats.
All right. So. So guys, now I'm in the back and I said, as I said, I said the seat the same way as I would drive and I'm 186 centimeters, 6 feet and 2 inches and this is fine, as you can see I have this much space, my knee can have a free movement this is nice curved a little bit and yeah, I really like this rear interior and I think I could sit here, no problem maybe even a hello maybe even like a long journey so this is a black tinted windows and Burmester sound system speaker and you can raise your arm here so really looks great also a contour seat a little bit narrow as you can see but not a big deal you have also cup holders here Maybe you can even order like a armrest here, but yeah, many people won't have uh, usually people in the back here. They will just drive here with the passenger, so maybe they don't need this. It's a really nice place to be here. So when I turn the ignition here, as you can see the residual heat is activated with this button, rest. So you can see the ambience lighting, this is a red moon, a red and blue, uh, actually purple. And in the back here no ambience, but you have it here on your feet. So looks really great. You can also use these vents. You can also change the hot and cold air. So really nice place to be here and I'm uh, more than average tall person and this is no big deal for me so I really didn't expect this so I'm in the back guys now and as you can see my head is not touching the roof I have like okay so maybe 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 three fingers maybe four so like this so enough room even for uh, like a drive here, passenger drive, or your rear passenger. And uh, oh, nice feature, this is to hang your shirt. Very nice detail. So I'm comfortable here and uh, actually more space than I expected. And uh, yeah, this is just fantastic. We have also here the seat belt so you can use it and this is great and comfortable so guys one more look from the back and let's check the boot space also here you have lights maybe you can also turn it from the front and also the view on the panoramic roof and if you want to get out from the car, just press this and lean forward the car. I mean the seat, sorry. The seat is moving. You can exit the car. Alright, so let's close the door and let's check out the boot space. So very convenient thing is that you can open the boot with your key fob. So let's take a closer look at the boot capacity, which is 435 liters. And the boot space is actually quite big for a coupe, so I think you can fit some suitcases there with no problem. And you can close, of course, the same with the same button, you can close the boot space. So when it's dirty, you don't need to touch it, so that's convenient. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. If you like this content, please subscribe and turn the notification bell on. 
And of course, guys, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.